Let's delve into a little bit of politics now. Um, you've been on the ballot paper three times, and twice you've come so close, yet victory eludes you. Will you be on the ballot in 2017? And if so, what strategy will be different to ensure uh, success the fourth time around? First, I want to disabuse this notion of victory, victory eludes me. I think Kenyans must, ought to be honest enough to call a spade a spade and not a big spoon. The problem is not about victory. The problem is about uh, the dysfunctioning electoral system. In 2007, who does not know in this country that I won? Every fool knows that. Mr. Kriegler. Judge Kriegler, who was appointed to investigate the conduct of elections, when he came to my office, the first thing he told me is that, Mr. Dinga, I want you to know that I've not come here to tell Kenyans who won or who lost last elections. Every fool knows that. I've come here to ensure that what happened last time does not recur in the future. That's what Justice Krigler said. So it's not an, uh, Ray Lodinga uh, coming too close. It is the fault with our electoral system. Last time around, we went to court, and the facts have come out. So um, whether I'm going to be in ballot next time around, that is not Ray Lodinga. That is for the Kenyans is for the members of the movement that I run. First, it is ODM, my party. It is COD. So I never impose myself on the people. But would you like to be on the ballot in 2017? I never impose myself on the people. If I'm a servant of the people. So if the people want me to be on the ballot, I will make up my mind at a proper time. So I've not yet even said that I'm going to be in the ballot. I've said I, I will make up my mind at the appropriate time. Finally, uh, let's talk about the ODM that uh, will decide as to whether you'll be on the ballot. Uh, let's talk about those elections. If you can just finally tell us what the plans are in February uh, when the national delegates meet. Um, it's still fresh in everybody's minds what happened the last time, the men in black saga. Uh, what measures are going to be put in place so that the election that takes place in February, should it take place in February, will be different from what we've seen this year? I don't even know where the, word, the, the, the month February comes from. Nobody has talked about it. Again, this is the media. The media just comes up with had something and says there's going to be an election in February. I don't know when that was decided. We have never decided on a date for an election. All we know is that there's going to be uh, a, a general council meeting on the 28th of this month, which will review what has happened um, since that time, and then make a recommendation. So they may decide that uh, there will be an NDC in February, or they may decide that there will be an NDC in January, or they may decide that there will be no NDC, or there will be one in December next year. So uh, I think it is too premature. Is it important to have grassroots elections before you get to the 2017 elections? Because you've just said they may decide to have one next year or perhaps not. How important do you think it is to have the grassroots elections before 2017? I see, the, the thing was that usually our elections are held every five years. But the thing is that um, uh, effective last year, New constituencies came up. You know, our sub branches are at the constituencies. We had 210 uh, sub branches. Now they are um, 290. And this means that uh, about uh, 160 sub branches are affected <coughs> because some are high from one, one constituency, others uh, two or three. And then, of course, there are some people who left us when the other when URP was formed. There were some members who left the party and, and, and went to the other party and officials. So the 
and <coughs> NGC will review all this and make a decision whether they think that we should do another grassroots elections or we hold on until the elections are due. This is a crucial issue which must be dealt with. But we will be making recommendations to the NGC. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.